this week. I found this deal online. And so I got this reminder on my phone today and it was like, hey, the bid starts at, uh, ends at 3 p.m. So I literally bid at two minutes and four seconds and I just watched the clock go down and it said I won. So here we are. The agent told me that the guys next door are flipping the property and let's see how much they're trying to sell this thing for. They're not finished up yet. So she's trying to sell it before. Let's go see what kind of crew we got in here. Hello? Hello? How you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. I'm with Casey. Pu KC Fire Department. There you go, chance. I've seen you on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I just f with you, dude. <laughs> no, uh, are you guys doing this flip? Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm buying the one next door. Are you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did a full scope of work on that guy. Oh, you did? Yeah, I got him. When I, we first What's your name? Marcus. Marcus, nice to meet you. Are nice you cool you. being on camera? Yeah, why not? All right, yeah, we just literally, I was like, because the lady who sold it to me says, the guys across the street are flipping. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, let me walk their job site real quick. I was looking for you inside. I didn't want to spook yeah. anybody. Yeah, no, you I'm like, you guys are doing quality work in here. I appreciate you. So you want to bid that one for us? What do you think you're going to acquire? I already got it. You already got it? Yeah, I got it today. How fast are you trying to turn? As soon as they're out. I, my scope of work was about four months, about 90,000 roughly. Oh, yeah. It's, it's up gonna there. Be, yeah, it's up there for sure. Yeah, that was with that full basement being fixed. I haven't, even looked, I haven't been inside it. You haven't been inside it. That's no. awesome. No, nah, I mean, awesome. was the basement fixed? Oh yeah. Is it, what's it need? Foundation work? I, I think the foundation is gonna be okay. I'd spray, it's that old limestone foundation. Okay. So I just spray that and seal that up. But the oh, outside just some, has been it, inside for probably two or three years. House looks good from the, in, from the pictures. Great bones. Yeah, the flip looks good. Did you do most of the work yourself? Yeah, yeah. All by yourself? I have a crew of guys that kind of do some stuff for me, but yeah, most of this has been myself. And then most of the tile work I subbed out, flooring I subbed out, but outside of that, it's just been me. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Will you walk us through it? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Sorry to catch you off guard. No, you're good, I need a break anyway, man. <laughs> yeah, I saw, I was like, this guy's sweating his balls off. This morning. Did you really? Yeah, one of my buddies flew in, actually the realtor's sister, or this, her brother, yeah. flew in town and I was just like, look at this guy, man. It's like, this is what we're trying to do. Cause didn't you buy a building downtown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That's where we just came from. Literally I was in like, I told my students to buy this. I coach guys and I was like telling them, I'm like, oh, there's a deal right here, buy this one. And the guy's like, well, I don't know how to register to bid. And I go, I just Googled the address and I said auction. And I'm like right here. So I clicked it and then I got an alert this morning. It's like cutoff time is 3 p.m. I looked and I'm like, nobody registered to bid on it. Nobody I, did, yeah. I was this close to going for it. I'm just too tired. I'm burnt out. I was like, I can't. I got it for right 135 now. plus the 10%. It's 153 grand. This is a $300,000 house, I'm sure of. Oh, yeah, 100%. I think we're going to list this for about 325. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, there's the one on the corner there sold for 325. Yeah. It's about 15, 20 years outdated. Yeah, so I was thinking at least 300 bare minimum. Yeah. Like, to, I figured 280 to 300. 325. We got this off auction as well. It wasn't too bad. So this was split level. There was two brothers that lived here. This was a kitchen at one point. Kind of converted everything over. New carpet, new flooring, new baseboards, trim, doors. Did up the bathroom just a little bit. I don't, I don't fit down here. But that's all right. Yeah, you're tall. Yeah, most people. Well, that'd be fine. No, I'm, I mean, you're what six four? Yeah, six four, six five. Everybody wants to be six five. Yeah, they want. That. I don't think they know really though. You don't fit most. No, no, no. You want to be. It doesn't matter. All, all, all the, all the negatives. The positives outweigh the negatives. This is very true. <laughs> this is very true. Utility room. So this is my last two little projects. I'll paint up all this. We always uh, epoxy our floors with that little garage kit. I was thinking about it. It, it really like people for whatever reason they're like. Yeah, it's yeah. like, all right, I spent 200 bucks on a garage kit, yeah, you know. Machine. This door used to be right behind here where the pantry is, and it came out down here. Stairs were a little funky. So we decided just to redesign it to make it a little bit more. Yeah, are you, so are you a framer by trade, kind of? Oh, no. That's just all the stuff I picked up over time. That's amazing. I learned pretty quick, so. Yeah, those look great. Those aren't too bad. That's the, the, the bullshit Home Depot. Oh, listen. You'll never get any more money putting nicer cabinets in. No, you won't. No, I, a lot of that little stuff is just like go with that bare minimum, let the next homer take over if they really need that. Dude, if it's new cabinets, I, I, I rarely replace cabinets. We kept the tops and we replaced the bottoms because the bottoms were rotten out. Otherwise, I would have kept the bottoms. Half the kitchen was missing in here. Yeah, well, it you gotta go. It used to be over there. Yeah. And then that wall was closed off, so we closed that wall off, opened this side up just to make it more functional. Because when you first walked in, I was like, where would you even put a couch in this house? Yeah. No, the work's solid, though, too. You can tell. You did an interesting floor here. This was left in the garage. I love this. It's so funny. It's hit or mess with people. They either like it or they're like, what is this floor? Are you staining it? Yeah. Yeah, I think once they stain it, they'll love it. Yeah, I don't think, like, they can't see it until it's stained. Right now, they're thinking, like, oh, it's raw wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you stain it, it's freaking, they're, they're going to love it. Yeah, and I like the fact that you put this into the pantry. Yes, I want to carry it. We somewhere. never do that, and I'm gonna steal that from you. Yeah, please do. <laughs> no, seriously. It's just that little aesthetic touch to where yeah. it's just not that weird over textured area. Yeah. You can find it somewhere else in the house. Yeah, no, it looks great, dude. You should be proud of this. How long, what was your turn time on it? We're about four months in. You replaced all the windows too? No, windows were good. Good. Yeah, <laughs> I got lucky on it. <laughs> yeah. 
Because they look like brand new. Yeah. Was this, this was a, a feature of the house? Or yes. Okay, because this looks dope. Yeah, the worst part about the master here is these closets. Well, you got two. Yeah, one Could one. be just this. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've, I've sold them like that too. Yeah. You're in a good market. I don't think you have any problem selling this. Yeah, I like that. So what did you pay for this? I'm guessing, can I guess? Yeah. I'm guessing at least eight to 1200 bucks. No. Less? Oh yeah. So you picked it off of like some sort of a closeout deal. It was Amazon actually they had a deal. Wow. Because at the stores, these are between 12, 12 like 1200 bucks. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's great. Because Home Depot usually has the one set for 250, but then when you go up, yeah, I love it, man. It looks great. You guys see the fantastic. with the bigger tile. Yeah, I always go with the bigger tile. Makes it easier more of that elegant look. and easier yeah if you do like a million subway tiles that was all open that was all funny looking this that was like a grandma's nook up there is what i was calling it where she might put a teddy bear or a little, <laughs> little house during christmas or something yeah no it looks great man i was excited i was like yeah, i wouldn't have been over here if i didn't get that alert this morning yeah no i'm kidding this was my first auction house that i've ever bought yeah i've never I've, I've never bought an auction house either really? i've always lost on the bids i was literally sitting there going okay, someone's gonna bid, uh -huh. and then it's gonna bid, because yep. that's what usually happens. Yep. I was like, oh, I got it. <laughs> oh, that's the same for me. It was Sunday morning, it happened, and I had the realtor, because she wasn't full, fully through schooling yet. So we had another realtor, and she's like, okay, what's your max offer? And we put in an offer, and I thought it was gonna be a battle. Hour went by, my phone app lights up green with like little confetti, like you won. I'm like, there's no way this is how I'm buying my first flip, fix and flip. That's awesome. Well, for your first fix and flips, this is outstanding, dude. Way to take action. Yeah. That's a major Just deal. Just a little bit of grit, and then, you know, rinse and repeat. Figure Most people are too scared, dude. You can't be scared. Well, I'm... Scared money don't make money. That's right. And you got good, solid, everything's solid. This is the first thing I check on everybody's work to see if it's like... That's what I was saying, too. We had a little bit of a problem with this. I hired, I hired a friend of mine. Yeah. And he decided he's going to get a little lazy. And it went from 18 hours of work to 17 hours. Next thing you know, it's Saturday. And I'm like, come on, man. You got 45 hours in your day. Well, you know what the funny thing is? You, you'll have a lot less friends once you start doing this full time. Because you're gonna, all the guys are like, yeah, hey, yeah, man. And then once they start seeing you successful, yeah. they're like, yeah. Kim. They know I have this success, successful multifamily thing. So they're like, oh, you can buy houses, you can do all You can pay me money. 50 hours to do a deck that yeah. would take you uh, two. Yeah, right. I'm like, come on, dude. That's like easily like a 12 hour job. You can get her down. Yeah, so this is also something that you did, huh? Yeah, so I'm a painter by trade. So if I Yeah, your paint is solid, I was gonna yeah, say, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna steal some of these ideas. We've never gone under like this with a, a contrast color. Like we do a lot of the contrasting baseboards inside and stuff like that now. I like it, man. White and black, I've been doing this since my house that I uh, reconstructed in 2016 in New Orleans. It's, it always will sell, people love that color. So you guys are, you guys pick this one up for 161, you're going for 325, what's the square footage on it? Uh, I wanna call it 1650. So it's basically my comp, I think this one's a little bit smaller, right? Yes, a little bit smaller. Like, but this if you is, finish uh, out that basement, you're, you're killing me. Okay, well, I guess I gotta finish out the basement. Yeah. We'll see what happens. I would, I think you can get away with it. it. Depends on how tall it is. If it's not tall, I don't like to finish out basements. No. You can tell you that he's tried to get me to finish out every basement, yeah. I'm like, nah. No thanks. She was saying worth this. What I've seen a lot of recently is basically tricorn black. You just paint those ceilings as black as you can. That's what we do. In Vegas, we never dealt with a basement. I never had a basement until I got out here. I'm like, holy crap! And so we started. It just hides everything. Your eyes don't get drawn up there to all the madness of black. All oh, those cobwebs or the yeah. nails or the this. It just looks nice and clean. Yep. And then you could put some nice those clean lights on there. Mm -hmm. It looks dope. I'm gonna get your number, dude. So what what made you want to get into flipping? Basically, take everything I've ever learned and throw it all into one area it's smart instead of being drawn all over the place and really more or less to prove myself that I could do it so That's to great. prove yourself you can do it and what's your anticipated profit on this deal we'll have about 50 into it so 120 130 it's not bad for the first gig Thank you, brother. Yeah, my, my bottom number was 40. That's what I tell everybody. I said, do not, I, so I tell him the same thing. I, I said, our minimum profit is 40, which means we need to be at it around 50. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, or, there's all those unknowns that you come across. Yeah. Like our biggest problem here, we, there was a silver maple wrapped in poison ivy. Eight, nine thousand dollars from the tree, and I'm like, Next time, call Damn. me. I have bids come out. Storm comes through on a Sunday night. I'm pulling my first oh. draw. Inspector standing in the front yard. When you're pulling up over the hill here, you could see that thing sticking out of the air like it was a sore thumb. And uh. I'm driving early that morning about 7 30, and I turn uh. over and I'm like, Yeah, where's the tree? I sent somebody here last night to give me a bid. Please, God, tell me he didn't just cut that down thinking I'm just gonna pay him. Pull up, tree's laying right here all the way through the driveway. It fell in between both houses, ripped out the power line, just was just laying there. Storm blew it over. Oh. Yeah, so the fact that it didn't hit either one of these houses. You got lucky. Crazy, crazy. That's why that fence is down right there. It just landed right on that fence. Hey, man. All the way up yeah. to the top of this driveway. Somebody's looking out for you. That was a miracle. Not only ah. did I save the money from getting it cut down, the Lord took it down for me. Yeah, you know I mean? okay, I thought you had to, I was going to say, next time you have that. Uh, I was going to say, dude, like tree trimmers, 
and roofers, they got no problem taking your money real quick. Real quick, like. I think I went through 12 or 13 bids and they were all about close to the same. And even family, friends and stuff were coming back. They're like, man, it's the poison ivy. Just kill it. I'm like, just, yeah, let's just burn it. I'm ready to burn the thing right where it stands. Yeah, you can. Yeah, for sure. That'll work too. I hired my guy. First, one of the first properties I owned in Vegas, I was starting to buy multifamilies. There was two fourplex and I had a huge tree, like big problem like you. Yeah. I was like, do you know how to cut down trees? This guy will say he knows how to do anything right. when he doesn't, mm -hmm. but he's brave enough to try it. He's like, yeah. Give him that credit. I was like, how much? He's like, 250 bucks. I was like, all right, <laughs> do it. Yeah. Yeah. And so he's like, man, that took me all day, sir. And the ch chainsaw cost 200. I was like, all right, I'll pay you more. Yeah, I got you. But yeah, he's become my tree guy. Nice to meet you, Marcus. Good pleasure, man. Cool. Yeah, good luck over there. I'm gonna keep my eye on it. Yeah, for sure. And the same, I'll be hoping that you get 325 or more. I'm hoping more. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't see why, I don't see why you wouldn't. I looked at the comps. If you say you're 1600 and change, I looked at the comps really good this morning just to make sure I was not making a bad decision. Yeah. I think you got a better driveway for damn sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You got a really nice big backyard. That's a big thing. My, my only recommendation is stage it virtually. Yeah, and it's cheap and it sells that house. Just a tip that I, that I could offer. And then if, oh, she's listing. I was gonna say the other way you can do it, if you're not using an agent is just to uh, list it yourself through List With Freedom, which is like directly, and so you just pay like 300 bucks. But if you already have a partner on the yeah. deal, you're good. Yeah. But on that, that's what we'll do. Cool, man. Nice to meet you, Marcus. Thank you, guys. Thanks for talking to us. Yeah, we're in good shape on that property. <laughs>